Do you enjoy going out and looking at new homes? Maybe there's a new development going up around you or uh, in an area where you'd like to live. I really do. You get lots of ideas about design and construction trends. It's really quite interesting to see. It might even get you thinking about possibly building a home one of these days. Before you even step foot inside and engage with a sales representative, there are some things you need to know that might possibly compromise your position and cost you more in the end. Welcome back. I'm Steve Reese, a realtor in the Oklahoma City metro area, specifically the suburb of Shawnee, just east of Tinker Air Force Base. I run the SoldOnShawnee.com real estate and community blog, and I tell you everything you need to know about relocating to the Shawnee area. Buying a home is often the largest financial investment most of us will ever make in our lifetimes. As a realtor, it's my goal to help home buyers navigate that often complicated process from contract to close. A question that we often hear from home buyers is, should I work with my own real estate agent or should I just go talk to the on-site sales representative? While it may seem like the path of least resistance to just go ahead and go talk to that on-site sales representative, but you know, that could possibly uh, not be the best choice for you and I'm here to tell you why. As a buyer client, and I'll put a, a link to a video down below that explains the difference between uh, client and customer, you might be surprised. It's my job to advocate for you as my client and uh, some of the things that you'll really be surprised about, you might not know if you're just a customer. It's important to understand Understand that that sales rep is only protecting the builder's interest, not yours. While they may seem kind and friendly, and I'm, I know they are. Really, what they're trying to do is sell homes for their builder and make a profit. They may not necessarily have your best interest at heart. That's why you need somebody who puts you first. Another downside is limited inventory. That sales rep or that builder is only going to be concentrating on trying to show you their inventory of homes. And that may be just a few or that may be just one neighborhood. A realtor can show you homes from a variety of builders and also resell homes, giving you the most options available. Another concern is your limited negotiating power. When you work with the builder site representative or the builder themselves, you don't have the same negotiating power as the realtor who has relationships with them and other builders and other real estate professionals through the whole area. A realtor can use their relationships with that builder and other professionals to negotiate a better deal for you often. You want someone in your corner who can help you find the best deal possible. Next, let's talk about legal documents. Y'all, the process of buying a home, the paperwork involved is, is very, very confusing and requires some expertise from, uh, from a professional who deals with it every day. Uh, sometimes the builder will want to use their own forms and that puts you at even uh, more of a uh, compromise. A realtor can help you navigate those forms and save you possibly money, time, and a headache down the road. Next is construction knowledge. Y'all, that site representative probably doesn't have much experience in day-to-day uh, -day operations with the builder. Now, if you're dealing with the builder, obviously they do, but they only know their product. They don't know what's happening all over the community. You need a realtor who is experienced in the construction process, who will monitor the uh, progress and keep you informed and also work with the builder to make sure that everything is kept on schedule. Lastly, and, and this is a big one, and y'all, it just hurts my heart when I see a very average home builder in the Shawnee area and I see that the listing broker is also the selling broker. I see that still many times buyers are going straight to them, probably because they're offering some incentives like zero down or closing costs paid. Y'all, this doesn't happen just because they're nice and they uh, and they like you. Uh, they, they want to sell their homes and so there are ways that they're doing this that might really cost you more money in the end. You see, they might have a preferred lender that they want you to use. That lender is not going to be local to Shawnee and they could give a rip 
whether they um, perform well for you or not because their reputation doesn't uh, last after the transaction in Shawnee. A local lender is definitely here before, during, and after the transaction. There are many things about a new home build that could go wrong uh, during the process. You need somebody in your corner who can help protect you to the best of their ability and to make sure that it's a smooth process. So remember, when buying a new home, you want somebody who's representing you, not just the builder. You want somebody who's experienced in the construction process and can help navigate through the whole process for you to make sure that it's all done in a timely manner and to your satisfaction. You need an experienced realtor who can provide you unbiased representation and advice, as well as a wider range of options and negotiating power. So if you find yourself in the market for a new home, Home, you owe it to yourself to have a local experienced realtor representing you in your corner. And of course, I would love to be that person for you. It would be my honor. So if you have any follow-up questions or like to discuss it further, I'd be happy to talk to you. My contact information is in the description below and I will see you in the next video.